many years ago in Orange County, in the city of Santa Ana, in a tight-knit community, Santa Anita, I, as a little girl, and my family lived in this community on a street named Figueroa. There once was a little mom-and-pop pet shop, which was located on Harbor Street. This little special place was such a treat for all the young kids in our neighborhood. Our little home faced the back of that cute little pet shop. I remember in the back of it was a pygmy horse and a few minor birds in a big black cage. In this special little place, they had frogs, lizards, turtles, all kinds of tropical fish. We'd see snakes, bunnies, and all kinds of little animals. And yes, those amazing green parrots. On a beautiful sunny day while I was playing in our little yard, I heard across the street a loud commotion, screeching and all kinds of noises coming from the little pet shop. I saw this billowing black smoke encircling above the sky. And within that were these beautiful green parrots that were encircling above my head. It was so surreal. These beautiful green parrots escaping for their lives multiplied, flourished, and made this beautiful city their home and sanctuary. And this is my take and my story of the green parrots of Santa Ana. Santa Ana is a most timeless and unforgettable place. All who have had the opportunity to call Santa Ana their hometown, past and present, have many wonderful memories and stories to tell. We who have lived, loved, and breathed in this city carry these memories with us wherever we go. Everyone from Santa Ana will always have a story or two of the infamous green parrots who made this place their haven and sanctuary. Whether it be your parents' orange tree filled with these loud green gems or catching sight of them soaring in the Santa Ana skies, they have become one of the city's long-time icons. In honor of Santa Ana's magnificent feathered residence, two beautiful permanent art pieces were created and placed in the heart of downtown to show the love and represent our hometown and the spirit of this city. I knew that one day I would want to paint and create these magnificent green parrots in art form. After receiving a Santa Ana Investing in the Arts Grant, my journey begins with the Green Parrots. After collecting much research of these beautiful Green Parrots concerning the colors and the color values that are within the feathers and the beautiful markings, my painting begins. I wanted to create a piece that brought nostalgia and modernism to the forefront. A piece of artwork that represents the icon of Santa Ana, the past, the present, and the future. With its wing spreading upward and soaring forward into the Santa Ana skies, moving ahead in the future, just like our beautiful city.
Now it was time to move on and find a location and a home. Going through all of downtown Santa Ana, I placed the artwork here and I placed it there. And I wanted to make sure that it had a nice fit and it would be secure and safe and sound in its new home. Once finding its new home, getting it ready for preparation begins. You start sanding all the tile bisque, getting it ready and in place and making sure there's no impurities, keeping it nice and smooth for the next process. Once the tile bisque is in place and glued onto its form, the painting begins. We go ahead and utilize ceramic paint. Keeping true to the environment, we wanted to add to the painting peppercorn leaves, which of course comes from the peppercorn trees which are abundant in the city of Santa Ana and the county. Now choosing a font or a style for the words of Santa Ana that will be placed on the ribbon that the green parrot is now holding. Painting is now complete. Now to carefully, carefully remove each piece of tile bisque from the board. This is very tedious because if one little piece chips off, the whole painting project is ruined.
once the green glaze is applied, glazing and firing begin. Once cooled and out of the kiln, it comes out with a glass-like sheen and is indestructible to all the elements for years to come. Installation of the tile begins. Now getting the wall ready for its new artwork. Finally happening. We're finally getting uh, the green parrots, Santa Ana, up today. Finally, it's all good.
And what did you start on this painting? I started on this painting about like eight months ago. So it's been a long process, but finally did it. And it's part of the community now and it's here. Community, friends, and family all gather around for the unveiling and the celebration of Santa Ana's newest art piece. Santa Ana's historical breakfast, the 150th year celebration, and the green parrots of Santa Ana was there. The community's response to the Green Parrots of Santa Ana icon was so overwhelmingly positive, the local residents wanted to see it larger than life. The collaboration begins. Construction of the green parrots of Santa Ana. Oh, wow. Nice. Very cool. Beautiful. Awesome, Frank. Juan Carlos. Very cool. Thanks, fellas.
the green parrots of Santa Ana's second mural finds its home at the corner of 4th and Bush Street. Always remember your hometown with the green parrots of Santa Ana. This beloved icon is now ready to share with family and friends on high quality products and stationery. Please visit greenparrotsofsantaana.com.